I have a trick question for you. What is your purpose in asking questions when you sell? You've all heard of Moses. He's a great tradition in, in uh, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. There's a famous story told about him, Moses in the burning bush. He's standing there with his shepherd's staff, and here's this bush that's burning, but it's not burning up. In fact, it's staying green as a golf course. It's amazing. It's a miracle. And God happens to be hanging out nearby and speaks to Moses and says, Hey, Moses, what's that in your hand? Well, it's a stick. It's his shepherd's staff. And he answers that way. But God has a different idea in mind. In fact, the, the staff becomes a little bit of a miracle in and of itself when Moses throws it on the ground and it turns into a snake. It's a great story, and you can read it for yourself in, in plenty of different places. But here's the point of it all. God, assuming that he's this all-knowing, uh, all-powerful being, doesn't need the answer to a question like, what's that in your hand? The question was asked for Moses' benefit. The question was asked because it took the conversation down a path of God's choosing, the questioner's choosing. See, most salespeople ask questions to gather information, but they don't realize that they can use questions as well to direct the direction of a sales conversation. You might ask a question related to uh, buying decision and decision makers to find out if there's other people involved. And maybe you're just being screened by somebody and not dealing with the actual decision makers. You might ask questions related to budget and it's going to take you down a path towards talking about how uh, well you can quantify your decision, their decision in, in making a purchase today. You can ask a question related to uh, the benefits of your products or services because you have some great benefits you offer or great problems you solve in contrast and you want to get into a conversation about that. So I teach salespeople they have to have five power questions to be great at selling but they also have to pay attention to what a question does when it takes you down a path of your choosing so you stay in charge of every sales conversation. So how good are you at asking questions? Do they give direction to the call and do you have your five power questions ready? Think about that.